This time I'm here in South Africa for the Good Food and Wine Show here in Joburg. It's my second time here and uh, last time I was here I was only in Joburg for two days so I'm kind of enjoying the fact that I'm going to be here for about a week this time. At the Good Food and Wine Show this year I'll be judging a few competitions, I'll be doing some cooking demonstrations. Uh, it's a chance for me to I guess talk to people directly, which is different, you know, coming through a TV screen or through a book or something like that. I like being in front of people and being able to tell them what I think about food and about the way that I cook. I think in terms of judging somebody's food, it doesn't matter if it's an amateur, a professional or whoever, you've got to look at it at, at first, taking everything aside, you know, is this something that you want to eat? And if it's something that you want to eat, then great. You know, that's you, you've won most of the battle there. And then after that, you can talk about the technical aspects and you know, is it cooked right? Is it cooked well? Is it got too many elements? Is it got too few? I, I love South African food. I ate quite a few different things today, and it was great to be able to step straight off the plane and try so many things. I had the baboti, the bovos, biltong, cooked sisters, milk tart, malva pudding. You know, I. I could leave right now and I could say I've eaten South African food, so it was a great first meal for me. My standout, I think, I, I love the Malva pudding, that was something I hadn't had before and it's something I would eat again and again. I think if there's somebody that's feeling under pressure in the kitchen, my best advice to them would be just let it go, you know, it, cooking's not supposed to be something that is so hard and so competitive and something that you stress about and cry about and worry about. It's supposed to be fun and when you find cooking being fun again, that's when you're going to cook your best food. I think MasterChef has changed my life in a, in a huge way. I used, used to be a lawyer, uh, going to an office every day, doing the same thing every day or, 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 or even doing different things but always in the same field and these days I get to do so many amazing things in so many different places around the world in a field that I really love doing. You know, I love cooking and it's something I get to do every day now. It's, it, yeah, it's living the dream, I guess. Since MasterChef has been incredibly busy, um, I have a TV show in Australia now uh, called Destination Flavor, which hopefully will air in South Africa soon. Um, my first book went really well and I almost finished writing my second one now, which comes out next year. Uh, I travel around cooking in a lot of different places. I write a column for the Wall Street Journal. Um, I, 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 it's, I feel really lucky to be able to do so many different things. I guess if I had to pick my favorite dish to cook of all time, it would be Hainanese chicken rice. It's the thing that I cook probably the most out of everything. It's something that I've eaten the most out of definitely everything. My grandmother cooked it for me. It's, it's part of my family heritage and it's something that that I love to eat and I love to cook it as well. Well, cooking is definitely an art, you know. Uh, you can get everything wrong and still have a great dish and, and that's what makes it an art. You know, scientifically, there's a lot of scientific aspects to cooking, but if you don't know any of them, it doesn't mean you're a bad cook.